Hi, this is Dave from Free Run Speed. Thanks a lot for checking back. Today I'm going to talk about the Kraft CTM Ultra 3. Kraft gave me this shoe to test run, and they gave me an, an, another shoe that I'll talk about later. So let's talk about the name, CTM. It stands for Kraft Tailored Motion, which essentially means it's the best they can put together in in their product. It's the very best of their product. And this is the third version of the shoe. Retails for $165. First off, this shoe just looks stunningly beautiful. It looks like it's ready to run just stand, sitting there. The upper is in ultra sheer mesh. It does have a backing on it, so it's not completely see-through. There's a lot of just really unique details on it from the, the collar here to inside the collar. There's no heel counter. Just everything about it is just simply, it's craftsmanship hate to use the word craftsmanship when I talk about craft shoe, but it is, it's just a beautiful shoe. And I'm gonna say, just putting it on the foot, you just realize how good this upper is. It's so simplistic in the way it's constructed, but at the same time, it just hugs the foot in all the right places. It's just a wonderfully beautiful fit on your foot. Your foot will thank you when you put it on. On initial step in, the shoe just feels comfortable. Feels like you just wanna go for a run in it. Like they, they did an ex exceptional job, again, with the upper, the insole, that step in feel, it feels fantastic. In today's world of running shoes, when you see a shoe like this, your mind initially is gonna to go to soft, responsive, just an ultra cushy feel to it. After about the first five steps, you'll realize that's not what this shoe is. It does not have that soft, responsive, cushy feel to it. It actually has a, a fairly firm ride to it. The outer sole, it's gonna be incredibly durable. My old friends could probably tell you they get a thousand miles out of this shoe, specifically out of the rubber itself. That combination of the firm sole and this much rubber, unfortunately creates a shoe that is extremely bottom heavy. The upper is so lightweight and so wonderfully comfortable that it's a complete disconnect between this upper and this midsole outer sole. I wish there was any other way to say it except for it's just really bottom heavy. So it's firm and it's very bottom heavy. And that creates kind of not the most special ride. If you like really firm midsoles and you want something that gets a thousand miles out of it, then yes, give this shoe a try. It's gonna fit that bill for you. But if you are looking for a shoe that compares to your Brooks Glycerin or your Asics Nimbus or your Hoka Clifton, you don't even need to try this on because it's, it's not even close to comparing. It's too firm and it's too bottom heavy. Kraft, I love you for that upper. That is the most amazing upper I've seen in a long time. Need some work on the midsole. Thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later.